turned out to be 19-year-old third-choice goalkeeper Steve Mildenhall. He only played because Swindon's two senior keepers were both injured. Gooden. And again. Looking for Wayne Allison. Beaten to it though by Thompson. And a good-looking ball too as well to Aloisi. He's got the better of Burrows. Not very far away. Burrow slipping, allowing Aloisi to go with it. And the shot, a few inches wide. Allison. Waters. Goodman's waiting for it if he wants to use him. Instead, goes inside. And here is Hay. 1 0 Swindon. Chris Hay, goal number 11 so far this season. And the man simply cannot stop scoring. It wasn't the best of headers from Foster away. And you have to ask questions about the goalkeeper. Years and years of experience, Knight. They put in no man's land. And allowing Hay, the downward header, to give Swindon the lead after 23 minutes. Nine times for one former Swindon player. Looking ball as well, and uh, good let it go. The goalkeeper's down injured. Still, it's Pethick. And still, Mildenhall stays down. And the referee surely is going to have to stop play. And indeed, eventually does. And looks in some discomfort. And this is why. Challenge coming in for Pethick. And let's hope you've had your Sunday lunch. He's on his feet. Only just though. Shows down by Hall, who continues his run forward as well. This is excellent stuff for the former Torquay player. Still has it, poor Hall. And still, it's the best chest for Portsmouth the half. And cleared off the line by Craig Taylor. Well, he's worked wonders since he came into the Swindon Town team. Backpedalling and just got his left boot to it. Certainly in the first half, very, very strongly. Swindon, though, with that goal advantage. Here's I go, and still. Oh, I just want that half time whistle to blow. Plenty of injury time being played. As here's Simpson, flashing well wide. Simpson's corner. A oh, wonderful save! Mildenhall from Perrett. Well, no wonder he's getting some pats on the back from his teammates. That looked a goal all the way. A fingertip save, quite literally. Ball. I go once it, surely! Mildenhall again. And what a second half this man's having. Down injured in the first. Only in because of the injuries to two more experienced keepers. And that probably even matched the save a few minutes ago. Superb reactions. It's keeping Swindon Town in the game. Foster. So if he to try one and does, and Milden Hall, though, is there again. He's not going to be beaten from 30 yards. He hasn't been beaten so far this evening from much better situations for Pompey. This is Hall. Constant threat so far this evening. Simpson. Best of crosses though. Foster. And here's Hall. 1-1. One, one. Well, no, the lines has gone for offside. The flag is raised. Pethick can't believe it. And that is why he can't believe it. Two Swindon defenders clearly play Hall onside. 
The linesman is proper as a Massachusetts juror. Face and again Simpson down this left hand side for Portsmouth. Again, the cross is at two. Got a good chance now, though. Burrows, the man who saved Swin at the death. Well, Casper's clearance wasn't too good, and that is why Swindon Town could be top of the table. Well, Leroy, Swindon really are on a roll at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, great result. I mean, Portsmouth played really well on the day, and Swindon defended for 45 minutes in the second half. And um, they just they just battled it out and got the result they deserved. What about Chris Hay? I mean, he can't stop scoring at the moment, can he? Well, he had one decent chance in the game and he pulled it away, and at the moment, that's the sort of form he's in. He only needs one chance and he pulled it away and um, got the result for him. But obviously, the real hero of the match for Swindon was the young goalkeeper, Steve Mildenhall. I mean, what a match for him. Fantastic. You know, third-choice goalkeeper. And, you know, after getting an injury like that as well, which I'm sure would make most men wince, and uh, he's gone on, he's got another hour to play, and he can hardly walk at the moment, but he's gone on and he's made some fantastic saves and kept his side in the game. This is the best of the lot. I mean, he just gets it's, his fingertips to that, doesn't he? He's six foot three, and, you know, he used his size there really well. And you can see how he's just stretched as far as he can, got his fingertips to it. You know, you're talking about fingernails there. And he spent some time with you at Gloucester, hasn't he? Yeah, he spent a couple of months with us, and he's gone up to that level, you know, at short notice, and he's gone and played like that. I think Steve McMahon would be just really pleased that his third choice goalkeeper is capable of going out and performing like that. And um, he's, a, he's a young lad, but bodes well for the future. I mean, he couldn't stop this goal. Do you think that was a goal? Definitely. It wasn't offside. You know, we, we see the replay, and he's, he's about a foot onside. But they deserved the luck in the end, and uh, they got the result. Do you think Swindon are a good enough side to stay up there at the top of the first division? Well, they, they're defending really well. Um, going forward, they're not going forward too well at the moment. But I think the more the, more the results come, the more the confidence is built up. I think that they could, yeah, I think they could make a challenge. Thanks very much, Leroy. This is a useful run from Bullock. Cleared. Only to Hay. He's done it again. And they slip Pethick in here. Golden Hall has come decisively. He's rolling away, injured the goalkeeper. Simpson looking to release Hall. And an Aloisi wait in the box. Crosses by Simpson. And it's here by Borrows only to Foster. And here is Hall. The flag is up. Oh, nothing's going right for them, is it? This was for me, in my book, a goal. This is a great pass. Look, look there. That's clearly onside. It's not even level. And I'm sorry. That's a bad mistake, it's a great ball, up goes the flag, no, 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 it's still down, and then changes his mind. Simpson will want to put the goalkeeper under immediate pressure here. Thompson went for it, and a flying header, brilliant save, Perrett's header, and tip round at full stretch.